are going to the annual awards tonight for our company um, and I'm super 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 excited and obviously Timmy is doing last minute shopping um, and I have to be ready in the next literally three hours but I think I'm gonna make it I think I'm gonna make it I think I'm gonna be good it's good so I'm heading out to the shops to get some last minute few things that I need and then I'm gonna head home and then I'm gonna get showered, dressed, and all that. But at least I got a chance to do my hair, which is good. I did my hair already, I prepped it in a way. So I'm just quickly going to the shop and just seeing if I can get like one final detail to my outfit. But yeah, wish me luck. now that I was so I took a little bit too long at the shop or something I don't know I got here and I got into the shower and stuff and I think I relaxed a little bit too long because now I'm left with an hour and a half so yay for me <laughs> but anyways at least I was able to get everything I needed and I'm so glad I did my hair yesterday um, because now it's gonna be easier just to slip on Okay, so I've got, I got it like in a, I'm gonna put some bobby pins in there just to get it higher up after I've worn it. Um, but this is kind of like the look I was going for. So I'm pretty excited about that. Let's see how that's gonna look. So, like I said, I'm gonna try my best to do an install. And this is gonna be my first time. It's not my first time, but I've done an install before, but I don't think I did the install the right way because it didn't stick so i'm gonna try it again now and see if it works this time around uh so let's get started wish me luck guys because i don't know if i'm doing this right or wrong or what must happen so what they said i must do was obviously put on the wig cap so let's get started with that right put on the wig cap and i need to spray this bad boy because so, i've been watching like tutorials online and on tiktok and stuff like that so i hope i'm doing it right <laughs> so the look we're going for today is basically the regency area that's the theme for today so that's the makeup look i'm going for and my hair is inspired by that look as well so wish me luck guys I wanted to just make sure that when I get there I'm all relaxed and stuff and I thought I'd do my makeup first but I was like no because I still have to put the wig cap on and all that how is it gonna affect my makeup so I just thought let me do the hair first and then I'll do my makeup after so then I decided to fast forward this bit because it was taking so long so as you can see I'm now cutting the lace front just taking off that thick bit of it um, and then I'll just cut a little bit more later just to adjust it to my face so the reason why I'm not cutting the back off is because I wanted to kind of like balance or adjust the back part of the back of the lace is not loose and it's still kind of like supported with that strap but that makes sense so once I've cut that off there I can see I still need a bit more to adjust the edges because <laughs> on the other side it ended up being so loose <laughs> it was just so funny so basically I just kept like rubbing it down until it became tacky enough to stay in place and then I saw that it was having a lot of lace 
there so I just continued cutting the lace until the dress is done to get it close to my hairline or my natural hairline basically and I realized um, as I was cutting that I actually cut a little bit too much <laughs> and I was cutting my actual hair but it's fine it's hair it'll grow back right so um after that I just checked with my wig to see if it's in place or if my um, if the wig cap is you can see it or not so then I just cut a little bit more because it was just too forward because I could see the flappy bit so I just cut a little bit more and yes I cut more of my hair when I was cutting it but anyways it's all good um, and then I just made sure that it was really really close to my hairline so that the wig can look as natural as possible so yeah I'm literally like laughing at myself because I'm like, yeah, nah, I'm a liker of things. But anyway, <laughs> it's all good. So once I'm happy with where the lace is sitting, I got this got to be glued um, glued to help set my wig. Um, I've used it before, but like I said, the last time I used it, it didn't really stick that well. I don't know if I didn't put enough. So I'm going to put quite a bit just to try and get it to stay on for longer and i must say guys the wig stayed on for like literally another week like i had the wig on in hospital because remember i went into labor quite quickly after this event and i had the wig on when i went to hospital and the wig stayed on for that whole week until a day before i gave birth so that was hectic um so i put like a bit of thick layer on there <laughs> but i just wanted to make sure that the wig doesn't lift or come off at any point and then i used the comb to flatten it out i saw this girl on youtube do this so i thought let me just do this just to kind of like flatten it out so it's not clumpy and stuff like that and once i was done with that i let it dry for a few seconds and then i got the wig Let's see. Okay, so I'm just gonna do it like this. Should I be like making this darker? I feel like I need to make this thing darker. I think it's too light. So I'm using quite a like a nice like dark foundation. A darker foundation to my normal one. Okay. Again, I think I've got time. So I'm just gonna make this a bit darker here. I think it's just too yellow and my scalp is not that yellow like I know I'm a yellow moon but huh? I'm not that yellow okay right, guys so yeah we had the and the year before that we had a um the theme was I think it was something to do with hashtag um what you might call it insta life type of a thing oh guys let's see what is your girl doing here let's see what your girl has done here Transparent, <laughs> oh. but I, I think it will. I think it will. And I think I should have. Okay, now I don't need to do anything. Okay, and then I'll just use some rubbing alcohol to wipe the excess glue off before I put my makeup on. Yup. Nope. But let's see here. On what am I doing? Hey okay, guys, I think it's worked out quite. I think. I think it's gonna I think it's gonna work out I think it's gonna work out because I let some loose hairs here and I think it's gonna work out okay let's see 
I'm just gonna do this like this. I think I'm gonna just add a little bit more glue here in the front because it's lifting a little bit here and I don't want that lifting lock but this is a pretty good wig I'm gonna say I bought it at Dragon City so let's see how it plays out because you know it's Dragon City so you never really know how the quality of the hair is going to be until you've worn it for some time come on here right now i actually think it looks pretty good it looks pretty good i think it looks pretty nice and natural i think i'm doing a great job guys all right so hair is almost done i'm going to start with my makeup now and then i'm going to take it off once i'm ready to do the edges closer to the time of doing my brows I think how does it work what do I do oh, what do I do okay cool. let me just check here so I've got the mousse and the gel type of a thing to this edge control gel let's see guys let's see so what I normally do, and this is like my, I'm confident here at least. So here I'm not freaking out too much. So what I normally do before I put on my primer um, is I put a bit of Pons, like just you know, a long lasting oil control on my um, eyebrows, and it just really does help me keep my eyebrows looking like that for quite some time. So I put a little bit on my eyebrows. And then I go in and use my primer. Okay, so my primer is almost done, oh. but it has been faithful. It has been faithful. So this is the. Ooh, am I finished? This is the Maybelline Fit Me uh, Matte and Poreless, and it's literally. I go buy this primer all the time because it's really that good i really really like i think it does what it says it does it's it's really does so i put it not too much of it and then because it is an out going out to not type of thing i'm gonna mix it a little bit with this um next born to glow um liquid illuminator just to give it a little bit of like uh you know a little bit of sheer inside my my skin to go a little bit and i just rub it in as how i would apply my foundation i mean my face cream okay so i already put on face cream and sunscreen so all of that is already done i don't think about how that's gonna happen but anyway see i'm wiping on the towel imagine if i wasn't wearing the towel i was gonna be wiping on my dress yo anywho i am definitely gonna be i was gonna be in trouble so next what I would do is I always start off with my brows before I do anything in my eyes. So I'm just gonna grab an eyebrow pencil. Eyebrow pencil and I'm gonna start off with the brows. So what I do is I would after putting on the pons, it just makes it like nice and fixed in a in a sense. So I just go in with my spoolie, any spoolie that you use normally for your lashes, just to brush out the the eyes cool and then I take my brow pencil and I like because I literally gotten a bit more brows than what I had before it's so much easier now to do my brows the way I want to do them because they've got a little bit of shape and a little bit of volume unlike before when they were very very thin so I just basically do the bottom i do a line at the bottom and then i just highlight the tip because the tip doesn't have a lot of brow there and that's what i do there so 
so I like to mix my brown shade with a bit of black because I just want it to be a bit darker it is a dark brown pencil but I just feel like it's not as dark as how I would like it so I just do it I use that a little bit only at the top So once I'm done adding in a bit of color, I just go back in with my spoolie and I just use that to kind of like blend in, to blend the two colors together and take off just a little bit of it, of the product so it's not too deep, so it looks a little bit natural. Obviously it's not going to look like your brows, but it just looks lighter, it doesn't look so heavy. So once I've done that, um, it's not going to look perfect now. Uh, I'm going to just put go in with my concealer. Okay. So I've one other step that I forgot to actually do now is because I want the makeup to last for a little bit longer, I'm going to put in a bit of concealer everywhere. And it's not... So this concealer just for under my eyes. And around my nose because I have this line on my nose that I don't really like and also the my moustache so here I have a really dark line around my mouth so I don't like that as well so I use a concealer just to cover it and I think I'm putting a bit too much today but I think because I'm just in a hurry to, <laughs> to finish uh, well, we are good so I put on a bit of concealer and then I'm going to just blend it out with one of my brushes and I blend it out just to cover the dark spots that I don't really like and it's normally just around my nose and under my eyes that I feel like is a bit darker than the rest of my face. Once I'm done doing that, it does have a bit of an orange look to it. I just go in with some um, setting powder. You can use any powder um, that you like. But I've got this cheapy one. I just go and set the concealer here. And especially here because I always start sweating here and it cracks. So this helps to definitely keep um, the moisture in for longer. So I just quickly just. Uh, uh, um. Go in. I'm trying not to sniff it. Once I'm done doing that, I just use my setting spray and set that in and let that sit for a bit. If I want to, I just quickly so I'm gonna highlight my brows so I'm using this LA Girl Pro concealer I didn't show you guys what is this now what did we just do the powder that I use this banana powder you can get this like on take a lot and stuff um, it really works for me I really really appreciate it and it does what I need it to do so I'm gonna go in with my concealer right underneath my brow. I always do like a nice thick layer. I'll explain why just now. And then a thinner one at the top.
so the reason i like to put like a thick layer of concealer underneath is because i use the concealer a little bit as a uh, primer for my eyes as well so i mix it up with my eyeshadow primer so this is also from essence it's primed like a boss oh i didn't show you my setting spray i use essence for setting spray so it's quite cool i i really like it works really well for me if i'm not using that i would potentially be using the maybelline fix and spray it's also very really good for matte looking makeup as well so those two are my top two favorites okay so i mix it i just to get another flat brush so something that's a little bit thin and then i just go and blend that out no i remember this post about brows your brows do not have to look like twins they just have to look like sisters <laughs> so i made a bit of a mess up here i'll just fix that with the black liner yeah cool so i'm trying to focus cool so i and then once i'm done there i just grab my foundation brush where are you grab my foundation brush and mix, mix yeah blend, blend 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 so just try and do it as quickly as possible because you don't want your concealer to dry up um before you when you've kind of like reached your desired whatever so my brows are a little bit too thick for the regency era but I'm just gonna be true to myself here. Yeah, I'm not gonna do those thin brows that they were suggesting that you do. Because in the Regency area, everybody was like very thinned browed and stuff like that. But I was like, I'm not doing that. Um, and it's more, I don't know, not everyone did that. So if I look at like Princess Charlotte, for instance, she had very thick brows. So it's not every, like not every makeup look should be like that. But it's quite minimal. And I'm gonna do that. So I'm gonna put on a bit of my eye shadow concealer from Essence, and I I really like this one because it gives such a nice glow um, and a nice and makes my it always makes my eyeshadow pop so nicely. So I really really like it. So we do that, and then I'm just gonna use that brush to blend my brows here at the edge because I like the ombre look for my brows and also kind of like blend out this concealer line because you don't want it to be so um if i could say what is that look where's the roof you don't want to be too defined there i guess i don't like to be too defined okay so let's do eyeshadow i don't know what to do because the thing is my dress is like this purplish color with a bit of white so i was like i'm gonna obviously go for something that looks similar to that but i don't have a lot of this light light shadow eyeshadows so i was thinking of this palette but maybe go for and this is from revolution um this revolution but i've had it like forever and i just hope it does what i need it to do oh i think maybe i should go for this one it's more like yeah it's more like a person. i think i'm just gonna go for this red blend color stay palette um it's called enigma very very nice so what color i'm gonna go for is i'm just gonna go for these really light colors here and then i'm just gonna put in a nice shimmer purple on top so i'm gonna use that to And then transition. So let's see how that goes. I feel like it's too light. But let's see. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. So do you want it to? Okay. Oh no, it's perfect. It is perfect. Oh. It's actually. 
actually giving me the color that I wanted. So I'm just going to go in with the transition color first. I think I like, I think this will be the eyeshadow color and then I'm going to transition with something else because this is just a beautiful shade of light purple plum. I don't know what to call it, but it's a very nice shade. So I'm just going to go in quite a bit with that. And then I'm going to use a different color to transition in and something a bit lighter. I'm a hair right now. Ah, it's playing in my head. Ah, ah, ah. I think this color is a bit darker. Let's see. So I just went into this palette and took like this really sweet pink color here just to blend it in at the top and see if that works better but I don't like the way it looks so I'm going to go with a different shade. I'm going to go with this one here. And palette, I'm not like a makeup pro, I'm just winging it together guys, me and you right here. We're going to just see how this works out. <laughs> if it comes out looking nice, well done to me but if it doesn't, well, we can fix it. Anything can be fixed with a good brush and patience. But I really like how this color came out. So I'm just going to put a little bit more of this peach plum color here. You guys can see how pretty this color is. I think I'm really happy. I'm really happy. And then I just go in with my black pencil because I am going to put on lashes. So I'm going to go with my black pencil and just do that. So that when I put on my lashes, it just looks a little bit more cleaner when I do it that way. So yeah. So I'm going to do, and then I, like I said, I'm going to put a bit of shimmer. So here is what I'm going to try. This is also from NYX Glitter Gold. Gold. I bought this like, I think it was a very like big special at some point. And I was like, I don't know when I'm going to use it, but hey. And you can see I've been using it to like show you, show you a little bit. As you see them, it's a bit used here and there. So it's not, it was not a cra crazy, crazy waste. Um, so I'm just going to go into this purplish, purple and silver color and I'm just going to go over and just kind of like dust it on to my eyes lightly, not like drastic, just dust it on to my eyes there, like that. so that's basically it, just give it this nice shimmer look. I wanted to go like I wanted to do this wet eyeshadow look, but I don't know how to do that. But I'll Google how to do that because that was really beautiful. I saw somebody who did that, and I was like, I want to do that as well. So I'll go check that out. So just to, yeah. So basically, yeah, a lot, a lot. It's a lot. So basically, that's what I wanted to do. I think I have to go back in with my. Yeah. I just highlight my pupils a little bit. Let's make it look cute. I'm just gonna go in here. Uh -uh. Ooh, guys, we're not looking bad, huh? Not looking bad at all. So this is a very soft pink from that Revlon Enigma. Uh, palette and I really like what it's doing here I hope this takes for long because you know, I don't think we have um, <laughs> look at that like most of my makeup is now like finished 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 guys I don't have much makeup left so I'm just gonna do the eyeliner again because it's later on it now Mm 
Cool. So once I'm done with that, I really like how it looks. Very beautiful, very subtle, matches my dress. I'm so happy with it. So now I'm just gonna move on back to the hair. Let's see how this looks. Let's see how this install looks. I think it's just gonna look like a crazy. Oh, I think it looks good, guys. We did, we did not a bad job. So I think I just need to use a bit of, uh, of concealer and stuff like that. But I think it looks pretty good. I'm pretty, I'm pretty happy. I'm pretty happy with that. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm just gonna go and get some gel. Just to gel out this part a little bit. Just give it some edges a bit. Like just small yeah, edges. But I'm gonna leave the rest of this hair out. Because I wanted to definitely give this thing a lot, a little bit of that look. But I'm gonna do something with it with the gel as well. Yeah, I, I really like the way it looks. It came out really the way I wanted it to. So not too bad. Not, not those like raise the lace installs, but not too bad. Not too bad for my actual attempt. First few attempts. So I'm gonna use this extra hold from L'Oreal. I thought of using the Auntie Jackie one, but I was like, I don't want it to be too hot because the Auntie Jackie um gel is really really good for holding down edges and i use it more or less more like a glue than rather than a gel for my hair like if i don't feel like putting on like i don't like it like you guys said like i don't use um glue quite a lot i just use the gel and then it basically kind of it basically sticks my my wigs together for very long and keeps the wigs on forever so I'm <clears throat> so like i mentioned i'm just laying down my edges and i'm leaving a little bit of extra hair to make some like <laughs> little twisted coils coming down my face of which i thought was really nice to look um and i'm trying to curl it with my jaw but it's not coming out the way i wanted to so i'll fix that later but yeah so i'm giving a little bit of hair to mix like curly twirls or swirls around my face Basically, once my, my, my things primers in like this, it's so much easier with the foundation. And I'm using the Estee Lauder Double Wear. I, I don't think there's any other foundation that works for me like this one does. It's such a beautiful coverage and it looks literally like so, 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 so natural. And what the nice thing I like about it is because it's a double wear, I think it really does give a lot of good coverage i don't have to use too much like literally i'm gonna use this much of it <laughs> for my whole face so i saw this trick on tiktok where they're like you just put it on the edges of your face and not like everywhere and then you blend it out in so let's see if that works i'm trying that for the first time so let's see if that works because normally i just go wah, 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 wah. So today I'm gonna try this new hack.
<laughs> then your girl ended up adding more foundation at the middle of his face <laughs> of her face um considering that i was advised not to but anyways everything turned out okay um i'm, I'm adding a little bit more foundation than normal um i normally just add just a little bit but i think because i just want to have a little bit more coverage tonight um because i am pregnant and sweaty and i just want to make sure that nothing falls out of place and yeah so here we are so now i'm just applying concealer where needed Okay, great so i found it it's i'm also looking i'm also using the la pro bowl there for that that's finished so i just put a little bit there a little bit there a little like contour uh-huh over here uh-huh and then before i blend it in setting spray and then i go in with my blending brush sponges to blend it so i normally start off with the darker concealer first because the last thing i want is to have like dark marks that i that I struggle to blend later so i go with that first always and i just kind of like almost dab it in the same place so it doesn't do this dark cheek thing so i just you'll see so i just dab it like in the same place like that and that normally does the trick this hair is in my way but it's okay So underneath her eye, I just look up and go in a little bit. I start it off here at the bottom, at the bottom cheek, and then drag it down and then go in up again. Because you don't want to go full on with too much product underneath your eye because my eye creases quite a lot. So I'm not quite sure if you have the same issue. So I just basically dab it, going down, take a little bit, go down, and then come back up. Because the event is going to be at night, I'm definitely going to go a little bit more darker with my nose so it's just more visible in the pictures and stuff like that. And then on some down there, I go in with this, I don't know if you can still see it, it's from Smashbox Contour Palette. So it's got the deep bronze and warm light. My, my, my warm light broke. At some point so this is the bronze and the deep that i only that i have left in in my thing and then i just go quickly into the deep one right i literally used it as an eyeshadow for the longest time and i just go in and right and then i go again with the i feel like i just took a bit much so if that happens just go in with your blending brush with your with your blending sponge and you should alleviate most of it away okay 
so once I'm done there I'm going to um, set it with the setting powder and also I don't go in immediately under my eye I first go right a little bit lower and then I drag it up so there's not too much product under my eye directly I mean like in the creases of my under eye I just do it around my cheeks as well. Because you want to look like you're glowing, but not like you're a producer of oil. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to go back with the brown into my nose a little bit more. And this is what I do normally when I when I'm like going to work and stuff, but I'm just making it a little bit more baked, if that makes sense. Cool. So what I'm gonna do extra for my eyes is I'm gonna take a, this eyeshadow palette from Wet n Wild, and I'm gonna basically use just the black uh, part of it, like this black palette here, with a small little brush, and I'm just gonna make a line on my uh, eye I'm just gonna drag it out instead of using a liquid liner I just felt like today I want to use powder and just see if I can smoke it out a little bit more as well because I'm just looking at one of the actors from there from Princess Charlotte she had like this really beautiful smoky liner lock thing so i'm gonna attempt that now and see how it goes i like attempting on the camera back with this brush that I used and see if it blends in nicely but it actually looks nice from my mirror but it looks so weird on camera but I think this is actually quite nice not too bad From the wet and wild i'm gonna add a little bit of this color i just saw it now and i was like mm, that's pretty oh it's so pretty i like it i really like it i really like this look right Next, so I'm just gonna highlight and blush. So for this one, I like to use the um, what did they call? What shade is this? Um, the bronze, right? Um, the 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 bronzer as my as my what you call it? What is this thing that you put your on your cheeks? Uh, what did I call it? I forgot now. It's my blush. It's my blush. 
I like to use it as my blush because I feel like it has such a nice warm tone and it's so close to my it makes my skin look very nice see that blush it's so cute and it looks so natural it doesn't give off that like pinkish look I don't like that a lot so I really prefer this Then I use my highlighter. This is from Mr. Price, the Quick Face Supreme High Glow Highlighter. From what's that? You know, the Illuminating Formulation Glow Fluid. So that's one from Lumbula. It's really amazing. I love this highlighter. It's amazing. I I I like a vouch for this highlighter in anyway. there. <laughs> this highlighter is such a confidence booster. I love it. I love it. That one. Then I use it as well in my nails. Listen, I'm using so many of the same brushes for different functions now because I can't find all my brushes and I'm running out of time. So, I stuff got. I'm just gonna put a little bit on the tip of my nose and under my bridge. And then a little bit on my upper lip and lower lip. And guys, I think that's it. Besides putting on my lashes, I think we're good to go. I've got these lashes, LA Girl, from Value. I am a cheapie when it comes to lashes. I don't like spending a lot on them. And especially because I like very dramatic lashes, so this works for me 100 percent So I'm gonna have I'm gonna apply them off camera because it is quite a bit of a process for me to do, and then I'll see you guys just now. Huh? Huh? I feel like I'm so pretty. So pretty. Oh look at me. I know look I'm like <laughs> Cool. I'm gonna just quickly darken this line. I don't like the lip color I went for. Okay, I'm gonna do that and see how it goes. How's it look? I think it looks stunning. I think it looks amazing. So I'm done. And this can come off and then I'm gonna accessorize. I bought this really beautiful hairband thing to accessorize with. But look at me. Oh, guys, it's giving. So I'll be recording for the rest of the evening and you guys can see my, my slides. And I hope you guys enjoyed this video because I enjoyed making it. Yes. Okay, let me put the hairband so you can see what it looks like. How pretty is this thing? Clip it in. Clip this in. And then there's that. So it's got this little cute hairband with this cute little thing at the back. How cute is this? And I curled my hair with my son's markers again and it came out quite nice <laughs> so yes i'm not i don't know if i should wear a necklace or just leave it i think it's quite fine like this actually but here's the dress oh it comes with this cute little sash thing i'm gonna also wear and oh my gosh i feel goddess vibes i feel goddess vibes i'm telling you right now so guys see you guys when i see you again oh my word these bad boys look bigger than normal. And yeah. See you soon. Ta -ta. <laughs> so this is the final look. Um, with the dress and the gloves and everything. I don't know if it's quite clear. It's not that clear. But there's my bump. And basically later that night. Yeah. I was on the dance floor. Very, very irresponsible. <laughs> I literally went into my water broke the next day so don't do this if you are about 28 weeks or 
so leave the dancing to the people without the babies. <laughs>